Hey guys, my name's Joe, and I'm the lead producer for League of Legends. One thing we'd like to do a better job of is to let you know what we're thinking when it comes to our priorities and what we're working on. A lot of things are in progress at any given time, and I can't talk about everything. Also, game development is pretty unpredictable, so our plans may change. But still, I'm excited to give you more visibility into a few of the big things we have planned for 2017. First, let's talk about the client update. Last year, we launched the open beta, and today, about half of you globally are using the new client as your main way of playing League. We've gotten a ton of great feedback, but we've also heard you loud and clear that the new client just isn't there yet when it comes to stability and performance. We've recently shipped some big improvements to the client's low spec mode, which you can find in the client's settings menu. Give it a shot and let us know what you think. We are still pushing to retire the Air client in the coming months. As you can imagine, supporting two clients is inefficient and getting down to one will make it easier for us to deliver more features that you care about faster. It's been a while since we talked about player behavior. This is a topic we know many of you care deeply about. We do too. And we often focus on penalizing players rather than celebrating sportsmanship in League. So I'm excited to let you know that we're currently working on a significant overhaul to the honor system due to ship later this year. As you guys know, the current honor system lacks depth and does a poor job of reinforcing sportsmanship. It's hard to understand how the rewards work and feedback can feel delayed or disconnected from your actions. At the end of the day, it just isn't super meaningful. The new system is designed to be much more integrated with the actual experience of the game. It will have greater incentives and reward consistent sportsmanship. In other words, not just hitting a small percentage of the most positive players in the game. I know the team working on Honor is excited to share more details in the near future, so stay tuned. Let's talk about runes. We've heard you, runes have some big problems. For new players, they're a huge pain point. Grinding for runes to be competitive sucks. At the same time, we think there's an opportunity to make the overall pregame experience much more fun and impactful than it is now. For example, you make a lot of choices across runes and masteries, but the impact of these choices is hard to appreciate once you're in-game. Plus nine armor doesn't exactly let you express skill, let alone a specific playstyle. This makes it easy to just default to a pre-made guide as opposed to actually thinking about your pre-game choices strategically. So we're currently exploring a major change to runes and masteries aimed at addressing these problems and hopefully making pre-game way more fun and engaging. We still think there's an opportunity to provide an awesome new competitive experience in the game adjacent to ranked. Experientially, there's a gap between even the highest levels of solo queue and, say, pro play. This year, we want to try to close that gap. I'm talking about an experience that rewards organized team competition, but still appeals to players of all skill levels. What we're aiming for here is a different experience than playing with a group in flex queue, or even the old experience of ranked fives. Think more along the lines of forming a team with your friends and entering an amateur league tournament together. Maybe you start to really sharpen your champion pool. Maybe you theory craft and practice specific team comps. Maybe you scout your upcoming opponents and plan a target ban against the team's weakest link. Playing League this way is almost like a different game where stakes, intensity, and teamwork all ramp way up. This type of experience is something we really want to bring to a wider audience this year. We're still in early exploration and there are lots of big problems to solve, but we're really excited about the potential here. We'll share more about this when we can. A lot of the features I talked about here are big and complex and tend to take a long time to develop. And when you're working on these things, it's easy to get tunnel vision 
and miss the more obvious things that could make a big difference to you guys in the short term. Last year, we realized we have to do a better job balancing our long-term priorities with quality of life features you guys are just asking for. Being able to ping the HUD, auto-arranging the scoreboard, even the loading screen indicator. These are all features that came from listening to your feedback and rebalancing our priorities accordingly. Even when it doesn't seem like it, we're always listening. We want to know what you think, and we're committed to always making League better for you guys. On behalf of the team, thanks for playing. We'll see you on the Rift.